Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for us, and welcome back to X4 Foundation Split Vendetta, where our palace is well on the way. I mean, I, I as you may have noticed, uh, I have slightly, um, slightly changed its appearance since the last episode. In the last episode, when I was putting it together, I, I got through putting it together, and I thought, you know what, that is going to be utterly utterly hideous so i uh, i have messed around with it let's have a look at the actual design now so it's very similar to what you see here but uh, there's a few differences so it's kind of in a in a little ring as you can see with some little spruts going out from it uh, and uh, what's built at the moment is the actual faction um faction capitals uh, it has four docks and two piers. Now, actually, it needs three piers. So I might make it into four piers if I can. I might stick them on the end of these um, these areas over here going out that way. That might be a, 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 a good idea. In fact, I could do that now. Let's see if I can do that now. <laughs> Okay, so one of those, it needs to be somewhere where it can actually sit. Yes, good. And then let's turn it around a bit more and see if we can stick it to this. Maybe a bit, a bit further that way. Brilliant. So now it's got one of those there. That's excellent. And another pier needs to be over the other side because I like symmetry and as such, Another pier on the other side. Can we use just a way of doing this? I do dislike the way that uh, you can... I, I can't sort of just put this down so that I can actually turn it round. Ah, oh, hello. There was a place that I could put it there. Where? Come on. If I drop it now, it's red and it will not work. There. Now it works. All right. <sighs> it's weird like that. Anyway, now that it's placed, it should be easier to deal with. Hopefully, if we want it to go sort of that direction and we want it over here. So let's see if we can put that on there. Yes, brilliant. So now it's kind of like it's a, a thing, isn't it? It's kind of look like it's got two arms and two legs. It's kind of weird. All it needs is a head and it's finished. But no, uh, so it's good. This is going to be the palace. This is going to be the palace that uh, our, our sort of helper will be uh, will be at I better uh, I better actually give that um, some cash to actually build those things brilliant and confirm the modules I have filled it with all of the weapons and stuff that he's asked for at least I think I filled it with all of the weapons and stuff he's asked for I'll have to look back at that at some stage to actually make sure it's all fine but it looks as if it's going to be okay now I gave this particular um, station I was very curious as to what I should do because in this sector, it's obviously a Paranid sector. It's it's not a HOP sector. HOP over here, Paranid over here. So I thought, well, what should I do? Because this is kind of defended by the Paranid, but at the same time, it's right next to the HOP. So are the HOP going to be a massive problem uh, with me being in this area? Uh, or are, are, are the Paranid going to be a massive problem with me in this area if I'm using one of their builder ships, you see? This is the issue. I had to decide which builder ship to use. So I decided to go with the HOP builder ship because despite the fact that the Paranid owned this sector, there's more sort of HOP in this sector than there are Paranid. Or at least there were. Now, there's a little force coming in to try and wipe out the Paranid. But I don't think they'll get to... Uh, I don't think they'll get to the HOP um, builder because the builder is up here. And I realise that there's a, uh, a, a defence station over there that's being attacked by the uh, by the, the Paranid. But they seem to be leaving this builder alone at the moment. Uh, I brought all of my fleet over here. Well, I say all of my fleet. I brought three fleets over here, uh, which is to say 30 destroyers, 60, 90 um, gunboats, and three of those other things. 
carriers. So I brought, brought all of those over to defend it if it needs defending. Although I would rather not have to defend it. Because really, if you're defending it, then that could cause problems. Because I don't want to have the um, Paranid sort of arguing with the station in any way whatsoever. That would be bad. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to here, into Grand Exchange. Because... Everything seems to be going on in Grand Exchange at the moment. Uh, what I want to do Entering over system. in Grand Exchange Grand is I want exchange. to talk to Dal Buster about the split. Because as we're building up um, cash to deal with the uh, the um, Paranid issue and we're, we're building up the Paranid station, uh, the thing is we've still not finished the split missions. So let's get over here. How's it going? Fine. Now, this will be ab rather expensive. Yes, about that horrendous amount of cash you wanted. 799.6 million. 799.6 million. There. That should do it. Mm, yeah, it took a long time. Now what? Wonderful. With this delivery split can set plan in motion. To do what? What's your plan? Trusted pilot will get control of trade ship. Passes the dot patriarchy station to deliver bombs. Agent on station will set rest in motion. Uh-oh. What? I can't deliver bombs to the patriarchy. They'll kill me. They don't like me much. They're minus 20. I'd have to get rep back, surely. Where's... where's... where's the ship? <laughs> Let's have a look at this mission. It is here. Okay, so let's have a look. Open briefing. And it is... The Court of Curbs are planning a major attack on the Zyarth home sectors. They are asking for a huge delivery for this purpose. Yes, I gave them all that. After a final blow to their home sectors, the will be driven out of... Yeah, okay, so this is basically the same briefing that we had before. But we've got to this bit. Take control of a ship... Uncover... Undercover trade ship. Huh. Where is it? Did I actually set that mission as my mission? No, I didn't. Of course not. Set to active. There we go. So... So then... Where's this undercover trade ship? Huh? Hmm? Where are you, undercover trade ship? I don't know. I have no idea. Appears to not be there at all. Oh, hello, who's been attacking that? The curb equipment dock has had a mass amount of damage. I'm guessing that all this is uh, is the leftovers of some destroyer that was sat trying to blow it up. Anyway, it seems to be fine now. So why is it not giving us any direction? Take control of ship, undercover trade ship. Is there a specific ship? Why? Why are you not telling me? Is it because I'm not in a ship my, myself? Maybe if I go and sit in my uh, Cobra, maybe that will make a difference. That's the Nodan. It, no, it's still the Nodan. Oh, come on. Right, fine. Let's go into the property thing. Oh, Boa. It's over here. That's the one, right? Because I hadn't, I hadn't got a Boa before, as far as I remember. And it's bright yellow, which makes me think that it's... Ah, why can't I teleport to it? Are you kidding me? Ah, I had to get over to them. Where are they? <laughs> are they in... Uh, are they in... Oh, I, I can't teleport to, over to the others either, can I? Because they're all in storage as well. Boo! Ah. Right, fine. If I tell one of those ships to go somewhere, then hopefully it'll get out of storage. And if I'm quick enough... Then I will be able to... Oh, can't tell it to go anywhere because it's not got anybody in it. Ooh, crikey. Okay, Tharka's Ravine 10... I need to go over here. All right, so, hang on, wait a minute. It's out. Why can't I teleport to that? Oh, I can teleport to that. Eh. Is that the right place? Hmm. Darkest Ravine. Yeah. That's the right place. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. 
Maybe I should buy a ship in the shipyard and just get that to go there. That's a good idea. Let's do that. It's the quickest method. So let's buy a dragon. Dragon, maybe? Maybe a dragon. Raider. Hmm. I, I don't know. Cobra. Let's buy another cobra. I like the cobra. The cobra is good. So we'll have a cobra uh, with a Mark IV. Ooh, that's expensive. Well, we still have some. We still have some cash to spend, so why not? Uh, and let's give it some good shields, although they're not the best shields for it. It doesn't matter. And uh, the Mark II of the uh, of the guns, good. And some quick flat cannons. They'll do great. And then. This can follow us, you see. Once it once it's actually done, it can follow us as well, which means that uh, we'll have backup. That'll probably get blown up immediately. That's uh, that's how my luck goes. <laughs> okay, build that, please. Go for it. Build it. I can't go into setter because the uh, the the because. Oh look, there's the. Cobra on the list. I could have got there immediately. Hmm. Oh, well, never mind. I wonder where my... Uh... Oh, that's in Holy Vision. Ah, should I take the AJ Puzzle Ferret's personal fighter over there? Maybe I should. Here, you go over there. Go on. Get there, quickly. You know you're good at moving fast. Don't go through any Xenon sectors. Or any of the... Any of the... The bad split sectors. That's what I'm calling them now, the bad split sectors. I could teleport over to that, I guess. But it's better for me to be in a ship that I can... I, I'm going to get over there. I'm going to get over there. And then I'll see you. Ha. Ah, so I had three choices. One of the choices was to teleport... Well, to get to my uh, nemesis, which was uh, was being sent over there. And the nemesis has arrived first. And the second choice was to wait for my, uh, for my uh, cobra to be made. But that's... Only 27% through, so I'm going to go over to this. But I realise now, also, that this trade ship over here, I could have just teleported straight to that, and I wouldn't have had to wait for anything. Entering system. So, Progress yeah, routine. that was dim. <laughs> Never mind. Nemesis. I Rainbow. like being in the Nemesis. The Nemesis is one of my favourite ships next to the Cobra. Because the Cobra is actually pretty good now. I suppose we've got some reasonable steering with the Nemesis. But the Cobra seems just set for doing steering with no problem at all. And uh, I'm really pleased with the Cobra now. How fast does this go? Oh, wait. This is in... Uh, this is in... Uh, travel drive. Not just how fast it drives. Because the Cobra goes at 900 metres a second. Well, a bit over. I think it's 940. We need to be over here. And then I'm going to get this ship to follow us. Oh, wait a minute. If I get this ship to follow us, that might not go so well. That ship, I literally have no use for that ship now. It was just there for that for that mission where I was delivering stuff to this station. And now it's just sitting, waiting for me to decide on another use for it. I could set it about the universe doing trades, but that's kind of risky because it has a tendency to get so blown up trading station. so I don't know um, I, I'll, I'll have to make a decision on it eventually but at the moment it's just sitting there I could just sell it obviously because I don't need it uh, at the moment I can buy myself another one whenever I want to uh, so yeah I don't know I might just sell it <laughs> court of curbs is on 27 rep uh, okay, so under trade ship Boa, right, so I need to get up. Get up. Good. It's an honor to have you aboard. Thank you. Nemesis. Yeah, Vanguard. That's what you think. Right. Travel to, and then we should be able to get onto the Boa and go with the bombs over to the Patriarchy space where they are going to murder me good. That's probably the way that this is going to go down, I suspect. Now. Where's that other ship? Can I just get onto it? Boa is in storage. Call to the dock, please. Oh, is it right next to me? Oh, it's over there. Brilliant. But we're going to teleport to it anyway, despite the fact it's right over there and I could easily get to it by walking. 
come on, I'm impatient. I want to get into that ship without having to walk there. I could totally have walked there in this time. I really could. What does it look like? Yeah. It's even got my logo on the side. That's nice. Okay, we're in. Oh, we wow. have, yeah, nice. Oh, any crew, I wonder? Or is it just me? Hmm. Might just be me. Okay, so undock. Hmm. Oh, look at all of the red on the map. Why is the map so red? Why is the Cobra. map so red? Oh, we're labelled against the Court of Curbs. How interesting. Because we know we're 27 with them. So this is, um, this is like set up to not be that way. All right, well, what I'm going to do this is going to be really difficult. How am I going to get over there without being destroyed? Ah. Hmm. Have they nicked my other ship? They've nicked my other ship, haven't they? No, they haven't. Put it there. Right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this ship over to here. This is the um, the AJ Puzzle Ferrets fighter. You fly over there so that you're right next to where I want you to be. Oh, rats. I put it a bit, a bit too close to the... Uh, the, the thing. Wait a minute. I don't really want it to get into a fight with any of the uh, with any of the patriarchy. So if we stick it over there, then if I get into trouble, into sorry, when I get into trouble in this area, uh, I will be able to uh, deal with that. But at the moment, we have to deal with this. How am I going to get through there without being blown to pieces? Okay, so let's uh, unpause and then Let's go over there. I really don't know how I'm going to stealthily, stealthily do this mission when I've got my logo on the side of the ship. Because you would have thought that they would have gone, oh look, the logo appears to be on the side of the ship. This guy's someone we don't like. Uh, and therefore I would have been in mass trouble. Right? Makes sense, right? <laughs> but no, so I don't know. Are they actually capable of attacking me? Hang on, wait, this is a trade ship. So if this is a trade ship, uh, I'm only at minus 20, so they might not attack me just because it's a trade ship. But still, it's kind of scary having them against me. It really is. Because they're big. They're not a small faction. Not now. Not now that I've... I've given them loads of money and loads of ships and uh, all that sort of stuff so yeah they're they're quite big in their boots now yeah, stay away from them huh. okay so we're going over here accelerator through Progress the accelerator this 24. is going to take some time i can tell <laughs> uh oh it's an accelerator not a gate they're infinitely more finicky to get inside okay so I need to be on this side of it because we're getting, we're getting quite close to this thing now. And over here, and hopefully we'll be able to get in there, no problem without uh, without blasting ourselves to little bits on the side. Nah, it's difficult. Okay, let's not go at full speed. I wonder what the speed on this ship is. It's got a speed of 304. Oh dear. Okay, let's go in setter and hope we don't get blasted to bits on our way. Please don't blast me to bits. Everything's fine. I am not a dangerous ship. Forget the chance of danger. Everything is all right. Okay, here we go. We're going through. And then there's a long way over Entering. another quarter of curb sector. 24. Yeah, 309 kilometers, 309 kilometers is a heck of a long way. Get going. All right, there's some Court of Curb destroyers. Oh dear, and the Hall of Judgment. It's, it's weird because it was only a short while ago that these sorts of things were against me anyway. So, you know, it feels, it feels like it used to when I started the game. <laughs> Again. Right. 
Okay, it's a long way over there. It's such a long way over there. I'll see you when I get there. Oh, wow. The Argon are against me whilst I'm in this ship as well. Jump gate. Strangely, the Taladi aren't, and neither are the Free Families. So the Free Families and the Taladi, fine. Argon hate me. So this is definitely a um, Zyarth Patriarchy um, labelled ship. Uh, because obviously the Argon really wouldn't like the Argon, the, uh, the Zyarth Patriarchy. Okay, still on our way. Right, we're in open market now. The next sector is the one we are after. We can see that our nemesis, uh, our nemesis is just over there for a really quick escape when we, uh, when we decide to. Of course, I can teleport away, so I could just, you know, teleport straight back to Grand Exchange. It wouldn't make a difference. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'll mute. probably go to the Nemesis because I quite like driving the Nemesis. Uh, but uh, every every um, sp split patriarchy ship that we see going past is now like plus thirty in rep with us. But uh, it's weird being set to a different rep status with everybody just because you're in a, a, a ship that's come from the faction. I think that this is something that they could have used quite a lot in the game if they really wanted to, and I do, do think it's a, a nice, fun little thing to uh, to have your rep just changed. Actually, I'm quite curious. What's it? Is it all the way through? Is it like, are we now essentially patriarchy? Yeah, we are. The Antigone um, Republic is down to minus 20, Argon minus 20, Quarter Curves minus 20, Duke's Buccaneers plus 10, although they probably don't exist. Fam uh, fallen Families minus 25. I still don't know. I don't, I've don't. i not seen any um, Fallen Families yet. So, you know, no idea. Uh, God of the Paranid is just plus zero. Articulus Free League plus zero. Yeah, so we're all set as uh, as as a Zyarth Patriot. Hang on, wait a minute. Why does it say that? Minus thirty. Uh uh, not true. <laughs> hmm. Okay, fine. Well, it doesn't make sense. But never mind. It set us to to that with the patriarchy. But uh, if we actually go in the patriarchy sector, we'll find that everything is set to plus thirty, not minus thirty. In fact, there, there we go. The Zyarth Patriarchy ship, plus 30. We are allied with the Zyarth Patriarchy, as long as we're in this ship. Jumping Why it's family. sending us Newt. to a microchip factory, I have no idea. Because you wouldn't think that the... Um, why am I going at that speed? You wouldn't think that the uh, microchip factory was like a massively important factory. They could easily make another microchip factory. Unless this um, ship has got enough explosives in it to blow up half of the sector, and that's an important part, then I don't really get it. I mean, sure, if you sent it to a shipyard or if you sent it to a, a wharf, they make sense as targets. They really do. But the 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 microchip factory? How does that make any sense as a target? The only thing I can think of is if there's somebody on the microchip factory at a certain time that is a bad guy and you want to get rid of that particular person, then that makes sense. However, otherwise it is not a strategically sensible target, I would think. Maybe the strategically sensible target has already been blown up by something else, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it chose that target at random after uh, after the previous target was destroyed. Hello there, Taladi. I still reckon the Taladi ships are uh, rubbish. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But Entering mind. system. Right. Family Newt. Family Newt, yes. Now, we're going to the actual factory. So, over this way. Thankfully, it's not that far from the gate. Yeah, so it shouldn't take us too long to get there this time. This ship is so incredibly slow. I'm so used to ships like the, the one that... Well, my Cobra that goes at um, 5,000 or so. Which is over double the speed of this ship. Uh, or the uh, the... Nemesis, which also goes pretty 
pretty nippily in comparison to this one. This one is so incredibly slow. I mean, I do wonder how quick you could get the transport ships going if you stuck a proper engine in them and reduced their mass by 20-something percent. Maybe you could make some really, really, really fast transport ships, which would be handy for trading, of course. But, uh, obviously... I tend to put my all of my efforts into warships. Because warships, yes. Whereas trading ships, meh. Okay. So we're landing here. Docking granted. Docking granted. Thank you. Alright, over here. It's so nice that they don't care that this particular ship has my logo on the side of it. And they should totally be blasting it out of the sky. Hello there. I'm just going to land over here. I'm sure you don't mind. You seem to think it's okay. How little do you know? <laughs> Oh, please don't tell me it's got no landing stuff. Oh, it's got no landing stuff. Brilliant. Brilliant. Just what I want. A ship that has absolutely no proper landing stuff. Uh, do I need to go forwards or backwards? I don't know. I'm totally going to drive through the blooming dark, aren't I? Well. Uh, forwards. Back. Cha cha cha, no, uh, I don't know. This way, ah ah ah, that's ah, lined up. I'm, I'm almost, almost like nah, it was rubbish. Okay, where am I supposed? Oh, I hate docking. Cargo on drone detected. Yeah, there's probably illegal cargo on me. Oh yeah, me. I'm illegal cargo. Uh, okay, that's in the right place. No, no, no. I was in the right place. Go back a bit, would you? There, right. Right place, right time, right landing. Please land me. Just land me. I'm I'm here. I'm on the thing. Land me. Oh, bother. Maybe I need to be to the side a bit. Everything's right apart from one thing, and I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> what is that thing? I, sh I should totally have bought some, um... Oh, now it's right! Wonderful. <laughs> Am I supposed to be forwards a bit? Yes. Down. Ah. Docking. A docking computer. Always get a docking computer. Never be without a docking computer. Right. Successfully docked. We have Looks indeed. Like promoted since our last station takeover. Ready yeah. Ready to liberate another station? Patriarchy security didn't learn much from last time. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh, heck. What's happening now? <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Loads of explosions, I'm guessing. Maybe. Well. Yes, I hear explosions. Now what? Just explosions. That's all. Right, what does the mission tell me to do? Because it's not really giving me the sort of information that I want. Like, any information would be handy. Undock. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's a pretty uh, pretty straightforward instruction. Undock. We go then. Yeah. Now where? Wait. The Argon, thank you for your continued support. Station no is under Argon control. I repeat, station is now under the territorial sovereignty of the Federation. Cool. What next? <laughs> uh. Tell me stuff the about things. Is spreading to a couple of other stations nearby. Good. What else? So I am just supposed to wait here now. Okay. Well. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't give me much to do, does it? Let's check the uh, check the thing again. Is it just going to say wait? Yes, wait. Wait is 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 the option. All right, fine. I'm waiting. 
in an incredibly unsafe place to wait. I mean, look at all of these ships. They do not like me. This is not a good place to be. Right, let's wait with Setter because that's quicker. Oh, they're going to bother me. They're going to get me. Come on, stay away, stay away, stay away. Well. Patriarchs, weak and traitorous. Sayard no more. Rock took over patriarchy. No what? creature oppose reign of curbs. Free families decide to submit to victorious curb rule or perish. Okay. She's right, he says. Slowly. Come on, get to it, Dal. She's can... right. Mm. Patriarch Zyarth was overthrown by one of his subjects, a patriarch by the name of Rock T -T 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 The Rock Patriarchy declared an armistice with the Curbs. They saw where their war would lead and decided to put an end to it. There are okay. already tensions between the Curbs and the Argon Federation over slavery, but as long as the Curbs mm. don't attack Argon stations, there won't be an all-out war. So... Curbed Ambitions is completed now. But I can still see... What the heck? What's the RHA ship? Alright. <laughs> we have a, a new... Order? We do have a new order. An RHA order. Let's have a look at this. This is a new faction, maybe? Um, presumably they're at the bottom, right? Xenon. No, that's not it. Okay, the Rack Patriarchy, which we're at minus 17 with. Great! So they're basically taken straight over from the uh, from the Zyarth Patriarchy, uh, which means that my rep with them is still horrendous. But considering the fact that I'm doing well with the Court of Curbs and the Court of Curbs are the people who are supposed to have led them, then that doesn't make much sense. Really, they should like me lots. But they don't. They hate me. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to work on that one. I don't want them hating me. So, I, w I will work on that one. And I will see you in the next video. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.